Good morning, everybody. Thanks for trying to wake up early and watch my live feed. It didn't happen, but hopefully I've learned from this and things will not go this way again. But at least I have YouTube. So this is going to be the first of, depending upon how tired I get, maybe four or five short videos I'm going to post today. As you can see, I'm here in the Las Vegas airport, and those are slot machines behind me. This is the only airport I know that has slot machines. It seems so weird. Um, but let me uh, get right into talking about um, my show. Uh, and I consider it to be basically reality TV. That's really what it is, because I want to have a realistic, uh, sort of real look at what goes on both amongst the culture of backpackers and you know backwoods type people as well as um, re a reality show about you know all the beautiful wonders there are I mean in our you know the historic sites the beautiful wonders there's so much to see that most people just don't see because they have work you know and I don't. <laughs> um, I'll talk more about that later. But not having work, it's an opportunity, and it's an opportunity to to really see this country that we live in. And I, I think that I can show it to you um, in an enjoyable and interesting way. And I I have I have a feeling that this is going to be pretty big by the time that it's done. I'm not saying it's going to be on like you know the Wolf Blitzer show, but I'm saying that I think. Quite a few people will be tuning in because I'm pretty good at making things interesting and I'm pretty creative and I plan on using every ounce of time on the trail to think of more and more ways to do that. But um, let me uh, start off with what this show is and, and is not. Um, this show is, is the, uh, you're, you're prone to hear me cuss, you know, so if, you, if you're really conservative and that offends your sensibilities, you might be thinking, that's not very professional, but I'm not a professional anymore, and I never want to be one again. What I do want to be is to continue to be real, and that's good for reality TV. Things are going to get really real in the next six months out on the trail. Um, you can expect to see um, really anything happen out there. I'll be filming myself. Other people will be in, in the, the picture. Um, anything could happen. You can expect to see blood, uh, people get cuts or broken ankles, or, um, first aid. Uh, that's, that's a very uh, you know, regular occurrence. Um, you can certainly expect to see conflict both between man and wild and people at the camps. Maybe there's some drunken fool that's stopped causing trouble and I'll be sure to videotape them and put it on. Of uh, course, they have no expectation of privacy. I know that because I was once a lawyer. Um, but I was too disgraceful for the profession, so now I, I just hike um, 2,660 mile mountain ranges for fun. Um, so you can definitely expect to see occasional unintentional nudity of many sorts. Um, that's the nature of what it's like in the hardcore backpacking world. Uh, you bathe in streams or in tiny little trickles of water coming down the mountainside. Um, it's not always pretty. You may see some uncomfortable situations that I could not have anticipated. Uh, you might see me go through some serious pain and uh, suffering as I try to make it towards the end of the trail. I hope not. You know, I'm going to do my the best I can. But, you know, th this is one man trying to make his way from Mexico to Canada through all of the treacherous terrain in between. So what's going to happen couldn't be any more real. Um, so you have a window, literally, into the wild. This is as wild as it gets in the United States of America. But digressing. I put this on Facebook yesterday, but unfortunately, making it through the Philadelphia airport was eventful because I accidentally tried to sneak a deadly weapon on board in the form of a backpacking hatchet. 
In other words, I tried to bring the goddamn axe onto a plane full of people. Security took it, held it up. Everybody in the long line looked at it and started like whispering. Like, who is it? I mean, it looked like Jason was coming through. It really did. Um, so <laughs> then, clearly out of sorts, I found myself actually beginning to argue with the officer that I was just using it for backpacking and I had to hike all the way from Mexico to Canada by choice and that it would really inconvenience me if my axe was confiscated. I actually uttered those words in public. Not my best moment. I'm now on a 12 plus hour layover with not a wink of sleep and no hatchet to defend myself if someone decides to attack me in the middle of the airport such as perhaps one of the haters who have been embarrassing themselves lately on my Facebook page. All I can do is shake my head. So here I am in the Vegas airport, which happens to be, once again, the only airport I've ever seen that has slot machines in it. I guess that could be good or bad, but let me switch it back up and get serious. Um, each of you is watching the absolute beginning of my self-created, self-produced reality show. I'm not on TV yet, so I guess I would call this a reality computer show. And even then, interested parties will have to mine different online resources, some of which are not even in existence yet to keep up to date. I know what you are probably thinking. You are thinking, who does this middle-aged loser think he is self-anointing himself as the star of a reality computer program? Well, honestly, I think this has the chance of being one of the best reality shows ever made. I mean, wait, no. Hear me out. Hear me out. On one hand, we could watch a reality television show about a bunch of rich sluts who entertain the world with their ignorance of what it means to be poor. On the other hand, we have a bunch of meathead losers thrown into the same house down at the shore, and we are invited to watch and see which one succeeds in getting the drunkest and fucking every other inhabitant of the house, despite the fact they all have significant others at home, who always dramatically call on the phone and then they have really awkward conversations like, yeah, yeah. Of course, in both of those cases, the realest thing about the show is the real cameras that are encircling every individual on screen, just out of sight like a real-life Truman Show? Or would you rather watch a lawyer, completely untrained in high survival skills, attempt to claw his way through extreme conditions and extreme danger all the way from Mexico to Canada for the quite possibly insane reason that he wants to find himself while you are simultaneously given an inside look at some of the most beautiful, deadly, interesting, and remote areas on the planet. The latter is obviously more interesting to me, but then again, it's my show. More on all of that later. And I did not even get started on the supposed first topic that I was going to talk about. And the topic is the I want to tell you about myself, since I am basically the only main character so far, and it should deepen your understanding of a lot of things you witness in the months ahead. One thing I get told all the time is that I should write my memoirs, because my life has been way further out there than just about anybody else. And I do not mean in a good way. I literally just mean out there, and incomprehensible. If you become a regular watcher, you will soon learn that I'm just about the most upfront and honest person you will ever see, even when exercising honesty is stupid and directly against my interests. But I promise you this, it will make for damn good TV. I am aware that there are probably two people watching me right now, and both of them are probably my parents, but I suspect when word gets out that I ripped a rattlesnake in half and then discovered a dodo bird live and in living color, those numbers are going to start going up. Either way, it would be cool for me to watch all of this in 50 years from my own memories if I'm not dead. Now, 
I know that in modern day America everyone has the attention span of a fruit fly, and this has been a long ass introduction, so I think that is enough for now. Let's take a break, and I will be releasing another video with continuing content at some point later on today. Thank you very much for um, watching and being with me from the very beginning, and know that this is not for profit, any of it. It's a lot of work, it's not for profit. There's no GoFundMe. Uh, I don't want to call from MTV. I'm doing this because this is one hell of a challenge I'm on. I honest to God think people will enjoy this content if, if, if they care to check it out. Uh, so I will be posting more uh, videos on my page later today. All right.